Hi, my name is Lauren Prairie. I'm a wildlife education specialist and biologist with the Pennsylvania Game Commission. Today on Storytime with the Pennsylvania Game Commission, we are going to be talking about Monarch Butterflies, a book by Gail Gibbons. It's summertime in the north. A breeze stirs the stem of the milkweed plant. The monarch egg is white and shiny. It is the size of a small dot and sticks to the leaf. When the butterfly lays the egg, she makes it sticky. Wind and rain cannot make the egg come loose. In a few days, the egg hatches. Out crawls a small caterpillar, also called a larva. First, the caterpillar eats the eggshell and then chews away at the milkweed leaf. The egg of a monarch is almost always laid on a milkweed plant. The plant will be its food. The caterpillar eats and grows and begins to change. It breaks out of its old skin, showing a new skin underneath. This is called molting. For two weeks, the caterpillar eats and eats. It molts about five times. Finally, it is a full-grown monarch caterpillar, about two inches long. Now something wonderful begins to happen. The caterpillar creeps to the stem of a leaf. It attaches itself to the stem and drops down head first. The caterpillar's bright colors become greenish. Then the skin splits and moves up to the top. The skin falls off. A new strange form appears. It is called the chrysalis or pupa. The chrysalis is like a blanket that is wrapped around the body growing inside. At first, the chrysalis is long and soft. Then it shrinks and hardens and becomes light green decorated with gold dots. Inside, the monarch butterfly begins to grow. About two weeks later, the chrysalis changes again. It turns gray-green before coming transparent. Inside are white dots and orange and black lines. The chrysalis wiggles, then it splits open. The butterfly begins to pull itself out. The head and legs appear first, and then the rest of it slides out. The wings are tiny and stuck together, and the butterfly's abdomen is big. The abdomen begins, becomes smaller when, it is, when its fluid is pumped into the wings. The wings become bigger. A caterpillar has turned into a butterfly. This is called metamorphosis. The butterfly sits quietly for a few hours, waiting for its wings to dry and harden. At last, they begin to move slowly and then beat faster and faster. The butterfly flutters up towards the sky. Monarchs have a bad taste and will make a bird or animal sick if they are eaten, so most of them are left alone. The scales of the wings make up the colors. The feeler or antenna is for touch and smell. The tube to the mouth is called the proboscis. It sucks up sweet juice called nectar from flowers. There are many parts to a butterfly. The monarch butterfly only flies during the day. When it rains, the butterfly stays dry, hidden under leaves. Fall is on the way. Soon it will be cold. If the monarch butterfly doesn't fly south, it will die. Once again, it darts up into the sky. The butterfly will take a long trip to a warmer place. This is called migration. The monarch will fly to where its ancestors have always gone, sometimes to the very same tree. Other monarchs keep appearing, making a cloud of orange in the sky. At night, they rest in trees. Sometimes they fly up to 12 miles an hour and almost 100 miles in one day. There could be over 1,000 butterflies traveling together. They fly to places such as Florida, Southern California, and Mexico. Some butterflies migrate 4,000 miles. They will stay south throughout the winter.
Some towns and cities are proud to have the butterflies visit them. They have festivals to celebrate their arrival. Children dress up for parades in butterfly costumes. Sometimes there's a band and visitors come from all around. Monarch can, monarchs can cluster together, thousands of them clinging to one tree, a butterfly tree. In the spring, these butterflies will migrate north again to the fields of the milkweed plants. At the end of this book, it tells you all about how you can raise a monarch butterfly. Thanks for listening to Gail Gibbons' book on monarch butterflies. We hope you enjoyed your story time with the Pennsylvania Game Commission and hope to see you soon.